All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and foremost, as always, I want to say, Kohalayim La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors being to the elder apostles with great millstone that do rule and teach well. And a Shalom to Yankee and Madir that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Okay, so this lesson is going to be titled Babylon will become a thing of the past okay babylon america because that's what america in the scriptures america is babylon the great okay the virgin daughter of babylon all right babylon the great will become a thing of the past okay and um you know you can cl uh, clearly see you know the, the 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 days that we're living in you can clearly see and how it will become a thing of the past because, you know, there's more talks of, you know, World War Three, you know, approaching, which we know the scriptures speak about World War Three, you know, says that the third will come quickly. Right. You know, there's a sign of battle on the land. OK, and ultimately, you know, World War Three is prophecy, you know, but, uh, you know, but ultimately, you know, ultimately prophecy is what is reality. And the reality is, is that uh, Babylon is uh, soon going to become a thing of the past, okay? And before I uh, pull um, precept, okay, this is the meaning on the free dictionary.com of the term thing of the past. And uh, there's two definitions. It says, the first one says something that no longer exists, right? Because this place Babylon is, you know, is going to get, uh, is going to get, um, you know, destroy according to the Holy Scriptures, according to prophecy, according to the words of Yahweh Bashma Shai, right? Okay, it's going to get, you know, destroyed by thermonuclear, you know, missiles. Okay, in the Scriptures, for example, like the book of 2 Nehemiah 16, um, they're known as arrows. And also, too, you know, other books like, you know, the book of Jeremiah. Okay, this place is no longer going to exist. Okay, once it's destroyed. All right. It's not going to, you know, be prolonged. You know, this is this is the last stop, you know, for, you know, uh, you know, Esau, Edom ever ruling. OK, after this, this, uh, this era of or should I say, you know, after this eon of um, of Esau is done, that that's going to be the commencement. OK, of, of Jacob being in rulership. OK, which would be, you know, uh, a, a rule by, you know, the elect. Well, first, excuse me, uh, it's going to be uh, um, King David, the elect. All right. Well, excuse me, how shy King David, then the elect. Right. So Babylon, you know, is, is uh, time is ticking for Babylon. OK. And the second definition for thing of the past. Number two, it says by extension, something that is no longer popular or commonplace. All right. And, you know, and like the scriptures say. A Babylon is not being called tender and delicate anymore. All right. This place is, you know, the, the mirth is gone. So everything that had a spark to it, you know, everything that, you know, that was once looked at as popular and, you know, uh, of of uh, some sort of status, you know, is it, that, has, you know, it's, it's diminishing, you know, if, if it's not, if, if it didn't diminish already, it is diminishing. OK, Babylon is on his last lap. It's on his last leg. So this place is going to soon become a thing of the past. OK, so this place is not going to uh, no longer exist. OK. So real quick, this is the book. I have, I have a few scriptures written down, so I'm just going to go. I'm going to go down the list. So this is the starting off. This is the book of Isaiah 13 and verse. Uh, let's see here. Isaiah 13 and verse uh, 19, it says and Babylon. The glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the child's excellency shall be as when the most high overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. OK, now, if you're not familiar with the account of Sodom and Gomorrah, OK, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed because of the uh, the iniquities that was going on. OK, within, you know, that, you know, that, you know, the uh, that region. OK, Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed along with his neighboring cities. And it got destroyed by, you know, fire and brimstone. Okay. So this 
this this time around, you know, this Babylon, this side, this Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0 is going to be destroyed, you know, with uh, um, fire and brimstone. But the difference is that the fire and brimstone is going to be in the form of nuclear missiles. All right. So this place is going to get overthrown by, you know, that by the nuclear fire and brimstone. OK. And it says it shall never be inhabited. Right. Just like, you know, the definition of thing of the past, it said something that no longer exists. Right. So it says it shall never, never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Right. Because after, you know, this wipe, this place is wiped off the map. That's it. OK. It says neither shall the Arabian pinch. Uh, uh, excuse me. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Right. It's not going to be any more. You know, commerce going on here in Babylon, n nothing, you know, no heathen making money, you know, no, uh, no corner stores, nothing like that. OK, it says that and we can go to the book of Second Peter, the third chapter. It says that um, the works that are there in. Let me just get it real quick and then I'll head back to Isaiah 13. All right. Just for edification's sake. This is Second Peter. Three and verse. Uh, let's see here. Second Peter three and verse 10, it says, uh, but the day of the Lord, how will come as a thief in the night. Right. He's going to, you know, how is going to, you know, catch the people off guard, you know, and thief in the night. He's, you know, he's not going to, you know, uh, knock your door and tell you he's about to, you know, uh, rob you. He's going to come when you least expect it. Right. And it says in the in the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, which is the uh, the impact of the third uh, nukes, the nuclear missiles. Right. That great impact. And it says in the elements shall melt with fervent heat, you know, and the elements consist of, you know, the people, the animals, you know, the, you know, this, uh, the, you know, the landmass of Babylon. OK, everything you see is, is made up of some sort of of uh, of elements. OK. And it says it shall melt with the fervent heat. OK. And and, and when it says melt, it's just, it's, this place is literally going to melt, it's going to. It's gonna. It says uh, uh, when we go to the Book of Revelation, the uh, Lake of Fire. Okay, uh, Babylon. You know, it is it is gonna be turned into a lake of fire. That's what John the Revelator saw. And you know, in, in his the vision that was bestowed upon him from Yahweh by Shemal Shai, right? And it says the earth also and the works. Here's the point: the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So back in uh, Isaiah 13. And it says that the rabies pitch shall uh, no longer be the pitch their tent there and no more, you know, business, no more anything for people here, especially the heathen. OK, N no more Babylon. All right. No more confusion. No more. No more uh, traces of of this um, this wicked society. All right. So headed back to Isaiah 13. And verse um, 20 says it shall never be inhabited. Now this shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Now this shall the Arabian pitch tent there. Now this shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. And owls shall dwell there, and sad trees shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her and right, because you're gonna have. You know, some you creatures over here, you know, it's going to be a, 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 a landmass of, of desolation. You know, some creatures are going to be over here dwelling in here, you know, because because of, the, you know, of 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 of, uh, of what has become. Just like, for example, like you see in movies and TV shows, uh, you see like vultures. They may be out there like in, like in a desert, you know, uh, uh, scavenging, you know, bodies. But but that's because that animal is meant to be out there. So it's going to come a time when after the destruction, you're going to have certain creatures, you know, uh, dwelling in this landmass of Babylon, you know, because of, you know, of, of, of what it's become. Right. And it says, and dragons in their pleasant palaces and her time is near to come and her day shall not be prolonged. Right. Going back to the title of this lesson, Babylon will become a thing of the past because it's not going to be prolonged. OK, now real quickly. Let's go into online etymology for education's sake and let's look up the word uh, prolonged. OK. Or uh, prolonged. And it says um, prolonged, it says uh, a lengthening in time, extend the, dur 
extend the duration of um it says um uh, where is it at? uh to prolong and uh it goes into the word uh, prolong nation uh, prolongation it says condition of being extended okay and 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 guess what like the scriptures say uh the triumph of the, of the wicked is short okay it's not going to be extended you know this place is not gonna you know be um it's not gonna get any more uh, of, of a grace period okay let's, let's get this real quick this is job 20 in verse uh five it says that the i'll start at four it says knowest thou not this of old it says man is placed upon earth that the triumphing of the wicked is short you see it's a short moment that we're living in all right right now we're in captivity esau you know he you know he, he's in power right now but his power is, is, is can only last for so long okay did this uh this this heathen is going to get taken out of power by yahweh by shema shai and we're witnessing it with our own eyes we we're seeing babylon you know crumble from the inside out right and it says and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment so this so he's on a, a um he's on a, a countdown okay a countdown of him, uh, of him being put out of power of him being you know taken out of rulership okay now let's head to uh revelation chapter uh let's see here 22 all right and or excuse me uh 21 and verse uh one and it says and i saw and i saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea you see and and john seen then john what he saw the new heaven the new earth was referring to the kingdom of, of heaven our kingdom or okay the kingdom of israel okay a new heaven and new earth all right a, a, um, a new rulership Okay, a new, a new um world where it dwells righteousness and not wickedness, just like this world. Okay, because every because because the Lord is about balance. Okay, you know, like like he um like I always say, you know, this is not the last stop for human civilization. Okay, because the earth needs new management. So being that right now, this whole world is wicked. Okay, the next world is gonna be you know uh it's gonna be Jacob ruling right, and then the next world is gonna be complete righteousness. All right. That's the all that's balanced right there for me up uh, by how about Shemal Shai. Okay. The Lord's gonna put this uh this devil down and put his people back in a you know back, you know, uh, how it's supposed to be back in power. Okay, but only difference is that we're gonna be in power for forever, for eternity. Okay. So it says that it's in the book of Daniel it says that the saints will take the kingdom and possess it forever, forever, even forever. All right. So that's what John saw. And it says for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away talking about this uh this uh rulership okay and, and, and how is it going to pass away by destruction okay by the arrows that they're gonna they're gonna be shot off from these multiple different you know other nations unto unto you know um this kingdom uh, of babylon okay and that's and that's prophecy okay you can't deny prophecy because whatever the lord says is going to happen Okay, you can't deny, you know, the scriptures, man. All right, prophecy is gonna happen regardless. Babylon is gonna is gonna is gonna go out in a blaze of glory regardless, man. So all we so all you gotta do is you know keep faith in and how about Shema Shai and wait upon him, and everything's gonna play out smoothly. Okay, now of course it says you know through much tribulation we shall enter into the kingdom, but the Lord got us, man. The Lord is the Lord is here with us. Okay, the Lord's gonna protect us and and, and deliver us. You gotta believe that. Okay. And it says, and okay, that was it. For the first heaven, the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Now the point that I want to get right there, you know, so so this place is, is going to be desolate, like it says in the book of um, uh, um, uh, Joel, the second chapter. Let's, let's snag that real quick. Okay, this is the book of Joel, chapter two, and uh, uh, verse eight, and it says. Excuse me, it's like verse three. Excuse me, Joel two and verse three. It says, "A fire, a fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth." And that's talking about the nuclear arrows, the missiles, right? That's that. That's the uh, flame that's talking about. You know, and it says the land, the land is as the garden of Eden before them, 
And that land that it's referring to is this land that we're living in right now, the land of Babylon, America. Okay, because right now everything is, you know, you can still do things, you know, society is still functioning. So right now to these people that are low level here in Babylon, these average uh, Babylonian citizens, right now to them is paradise, right? Because they can, you know, do, do what they want, do as they please. You know, it's the killer city, right? So right now it's, it's, the, it's as the Garden of Eden before, before the destruction. And it says, and behind them, a desolate wilderness. Because once, because right now, even though it may seem like everything's still intact, but as soon as those these nukes hit, it's gonna be desolate, like a desolate wilderness. Okay, Ima imagine a forest or or uh, um, woods without no damn trees, just just complete desolation, nothing but stubble. Okay, everything is 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 uh, destroyed right down to the root. Okay, like it says in Malachi. Oh, speaking of root, it says that. Okay, well, real quick, let me finish this first, then I'll go back to, uh, then I'll go to Malachi. Right here, it says, And behind them in desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. Okay, so if, you, so if you're not of the elect, then, hey, you're not going to escape, you know, that, that fiery judgment. Okay, uh, the only way out of that destruction is to be beamed up, is to be delivered up into a heavenly chariot. Okay. So nothing is going to escape the nukes unless you're part of that remnant. OK, and we hope and pray and that faith that we are a part of that remnant because we don't want to be caught up in destruction. You see, we want to be caught up with, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Shai and the brothers in the air. Like it says in the book of, uh, I believe, first Thessalonians, the uh, the uh, fourth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. OK, so let's snag this because I did say it. Malachi four and one. OK. It says, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Okay. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. So the reason why this place is going to go out, you know, you know, like the way it is, because people here are proud, they're wicked, you know, and they don't take any consideration, you know, of their actions that they're doing in front of Yahweh Bashmah Shai, because the Lord sees everything. You know, the angels are recording everything. You know, even the, uh, you know, the the, uh, the men of the Lord, the servants of the Lord, the prophets, you know, they're keeping record, too. And how do they do that? By doing lessons of wickedness, you know, by rebuking, you know, the wicked society that we're living in, sign and crying to you. How about Shemal Shai? So people out here, you know, they're just, you know, living their life, you know, wickedness like it's all good and peachy. But soon, you know, they're going to get turned into stubble. They're going to get, you know, uh, uh, they're going to burn up. OK, and then that's literal, just like the scene in Terminator 2 Judgment Day, you know, it's going to be like that. But but uh, but worse. All right. People are, are literally going to going to melt. Their flesh is going to melt. All right. Two thirds are going to be destroyed here on this side. But of course, in the kingdom, they're going to come back in the kingdom through the through, you know, the uh, the loins of the elect men of the Lord. Right. But on this side, they got to be cut off. They got to they got to go through that nuclear fire. They got to be purged purged out man this side okay and come back righteous in the kingdom because they're because right now they're not in the right minds right and the heathen too the heathen gonna get it too especially especially the heathen especially esau right they're gonna they they all gonna burn up man and it says verse uh one and it says and the day that cometh shall burn them up see said the lord yahweh bashmah shive hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch Meaning what? Meaning that it ain't going to be nothing left. Okay? You're not going to know, you know, you ain't going to know if, if that's New York or if that's Texas. Okay? You're not going to know nothing. And I believe it says that in Isaiah when it says, uh, goes in basically about, about the line of confusion when, you know, after destruction, you're not going to know if, if, if that was Miami or not. You see? Babylon's going to become a thing of the past, man. It's going to be, it's going to no longer exist. Okay? And that's beautiful because we're in captivity. Okay. This place has to be destroyed. All right. The Lord said so. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 18 and verse. I'll start at verse 20. It says, rejoice over her, thou heaven. 
and ye holy apostles and prophets, for the most high Yahweh Bash Shai had avenged you, excuse me, had avenged you on her. Okay. So right now I'm saying rejoice. You know, rejoice, you know, the holy apostles and prophets, you know, for Yahweh Bash Shai had, had to avenge, you know, you know, you on her. Meaning what? Meaning that the Lord is going to, you know, destroy this wicked ass uh, kingdom. Okay, for what? For the, for all the evils, you know, it, uh, it has done to the Lord's people. Okay, especially the prophets of the, of Yahweh Bashmal Shah, the apostles. You know, because you know, uh, because even though all Israel is in captivity right now, but you have men that have been woken up to know that they're in captivity. Our people don't know our, that that we're in captivity. A, a lot, of, the, the majority of Jake don't know that they're in captivity. Okay, so being that we've been woken up. You know, like the scriptures say, a person make it the wise man mad. You know, that brings us forth to the Lord to repent and a sign cry about, you know, the bullshit that's going on out here in Babylon. So, you know, being done wrongly, you know, being, you know, having, a, a, you know, bullshit happen to you, according, you know, because we're in Babylon, you know, and shit gets tiring. You see, so the Lord is going to avenge us, you know, you know, of what this place has done unto, you know, uh, uh, his men. Okay, and real quick, when you look at that word avenge on the online etymology, all right, the word here for avenge, it says, uh, vindicate by inflicting pain or evil on the wrongdoer, and Babylon is the wrongdoer, okay? This whore Babylon is a, is, is a wrongdoer, man, okay? This place will, will play, if you let it, man, this place will chew you up and spit you right out, man, like you never existed and just toss you to the side okay this this, in this place inflicts a lot of pain and and it has a uh, and it's uh, filled with a lot of evil and wrongdoing that's why the when you go to the book of hosea the fourth chapter and the uh first verse it says that the lord has you know a um a controversy you know with, with the with the inhabitants of the land now of course you know in the context talking about israel but we can apply that to, you know, to today in today's time, you know, uh, uh, regarding Babylon, you know, and how this place is, you know, this place uh, operates, man. This place operates in a very upside down and, and uh, evil manner. So it only makes sense in why the Lord will avenge his men. OK, and, you know, and, and pay America back double. OK. And it says verse uh, 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus, what violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down? Right. And it says, oh, right here, we, we go back to the word avenge. It says by inflicting pain, you see, and when when something when, when a, a violent act is going on, what you know, what's involved? Somebody, somebody inflicting pain on someone else. So the Lord Yahweh Shema and Shai is going to open up his armory, as it says in the book of Jeremiah 50, okay, which the, which the Lord's armory is these, these nuclear missiles, okay, because the Lord, the Lord is, he, he's in control of everything, okay, he's in control of everything, okay, so the Lord is going to open up his armory and inflict pain, okay, upon this sinful last kingdom known as Babylon, all right? And it says, thus for violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Going back to the title of this lesson, Babylon will become a thing of the past. Meaning what? When nothing is, uh, when, when nothing uh, uh, um, exists in, uh, anymore. Okay. When nothing is popular anymore. When it's put to the side and, and just done with. Okay. We're going to end off right here. This is Jeremiah. Chapter uh, 50. Let's double check. Jeremiah 51 and verse 64. And it says, and 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 thou shalt say, thus shall Babylon sink. OK, now this is not talking about the old, the ancient Babylon. OK, it's not talking about ancient Babylon. It's talking about this Babylon. OK, because uh, what, what happened was with ancient Babylon, the Persians, they they had and they uh, um, attacked them, you know, through the back door, you know, and overtook them. You see that ancient Babylon didn't sink and, and got destroyed by 
by uh by nuclear missiles. That's talking about this Babylon that we're living in. All right. And the, and thou shalt say, thus shall thus shall Babylon sink, and shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her. Right? It's not gonna it's not gonna come back and and, and come out the ashes like a phoenix, man. You know, it's not gonna rise again. No, this is the last rulership for Esau Edom. This is our last captivity. That's why the description say Lamentations, the, the fourth chapter says, "Rejoice and be let rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom." Okay, because this is the last go around for any tribe of the nation of Edom to be to ever be in power. Okay, and it says, "And and shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her." Right, it's not going to exist anymore. It gonna, it's it's going to become a thing of the past. And they shall be weary. Thus far are the words of Jeremiah. You see, so Lord's will, this lesson was edifying unto the Lord's sheep. Lord's will, this is uh, you know, you were fed and edified. And I just want to say, call on Lam Lai Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash, double honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And inshallah, to you, Anki, out there that's pushing his truth, thus in city, of course, through, through the spirit, through the power, and through the name. Avi Hawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. And once again, Lord is well, you edified. That being said, Shalom.